So in our district, we're so lucky to have the Puget Sound, Pigeon Point Park, Ham Creek, and the Duwamish River Valley, among other natural wonders. And across Washington State, I've been fortunate in my life. Coming from India, I was at first, when I came to this country, terrified to go out into the the natural world. I didn't know much about it. it we, we live in, an, you know, where I came from in India, there's no place that's not occupied. I mean, even if you go hiking, it is completely occupied. So this idea that I would be out in the natural world by myself was a terrifying thing. And so a lot of the efforts to engage young people who don't have the chance to enjoy that kind of wildlife and not be afraid of it, but actually learn from it and enjoy it is one of the things I think is really important in our country today. But um, when I came to this country and I went on my first hiking trip, it was actually in Utah and um, Wyoming. And I remember just hiking down this trail that was, I don't know, maybe about 10 miles long and pitching my tent and hearing the bears <laughs> at night, being absolutely terrified, you know, wondering if I'd hung my food right. That took me about two hours. Um, <laughs> But realizing when you wake up in the morning, is there anything more beautiful than that moment? And we have those spots here. That's what this land is. That's what places like Schmitz Park Ravine in West Seattle are. There are these little places where there's natural land that needs to be preserved. Now, of course, you all here in this area have been given this beautiful land, which has then been polluted. And now we're in the process of trying to clean that up and to make sure that the corporations who did the polluting, the government who was a part of it, that all of us are part of actually restoring that. So we have, in the past few years, made great strides on clean energy, um, clean air and water technology, and we've increased electric car incentives across Seattle to cut back on carbon emissions. I'm the proud driver of a Volt, um, which, uh, now I wish I had the bolt because it <laughs> relieves the range anxiety that you have. But I think all of these efforts are part of really trying to move ourselves to a different carbon footprint, to a way of living that actually respects what we have around us. And so we've been able to preserve funding to our parklands, and we're seeing, I think, positive impact of the EPA Superfund designation to clean up the Duwamish River. Um, and I'm so grateful to you because this initiative is really what will remove the toxic pollutants from five miles of our river and protect our ecosystem and restore our salmon and our wildlife.